Hey BBs, it's Plastic and today I'm back with you guys for another video. Today I wanted to show you guys some of the movie magic dolls that I grabbed. Um, Game of Babe not included, I grabbed them last couple months ago. But um, Target was having a big sale and I wanted to show you my opinions on them. I know they're out, they've been a billion and three videos of these. But um, just want to give you guys what mine look like, how I feel about them, and all the fun things. If you guys want to try to grab them before the sale ends, I'm not sure if, if I'll be able to upload this before. But um... Yeah, I know they're going to be clearancing out when summertime hits, when the new lines are obviously launching. But I think it's a better time to grab them somewhat soon. They'll be out for a couple more months, but just like a heads up, you know? So I'm just going to do like an opening of Just Spirit Green. Um, I feel like they get repetitive after you see three of them, so I'm not going to waste anyone's time. That was one of the most painful OMG unboxings that I've done in a while. Out of her way, in her little, like, box thing, you get a, um, um, you get a little backdrop for, like, a playset or whatever. Really cute. Um, also, really quick, want to get out of the way. This huge box, which I didn't really understand how to do it. I've unboxed one of these before, but I completely forgot how annoying it was. It, like, this took forever to get in, but it's, like, this little, like, movie theater thing. It's really cute, whatever. Bye. Let's get on to the doll. So, Spirit Queen has a lot. She comes with a lot, you know? Like, these dolls have a little bit. They have a lot. I'm gonna real quick get out these out of the way. These are. These little 3D glasses. Super, super cute. They're made for, like, the packaging and stuff, and. They're just kind of like, 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 I don't know, they're like the gimmick. She also comes with a brush, I guess a little elastic as well. These instructions, these instructions. Multiple sand clips. A little microphone, because she's like the sound girl. This little hat. We also got her magazine, it says double feature. Cute little artwork on the inside. And then there's like a puzzle piece kind of thing, kind of like remix, but less cool in my opinion. Right, maybe let's start with like the shoes. These shoes are really cool, um, but, yeah, I don't know. So let's go right down. Oh my gosh. These are actually really cute in person. Can you see them? These are really cute. Oh, no, no, you can see them. Look at how cool these are. These are so monster high to me in, like, a good way. Like, not like Jackie Laura, but, like, they just look really cool and, like, nostalgic. And then her little hat box accessory. We have some cute little... Oh, oh, we got two little packages. Okay. So these are always the smallest parts. So, yes. You don't want to lose these. Here is her... Oh, here's her corset. Um, We'll assemble that soon. And we also have her jewelry. I'm assuming... Yeah. Definitely want to be careful with this. Really cute, though. So now let's get into the fun little bags of clothing. Um, these are always super annoying for me to get out because I feel like, um, I don't know, the hangers are annoying, but I do like them. Oh, let's just start with this one. I don't know why I picked this one first, but um, I'm gonna like a bit. Okay. Okay little jacket this is like a varsity jacket i think right oh, i don't know this is just really cute we also have this bag which let's try to open it correctly because i feel like the hanger is always the most annoying part all right we get oh oh yeah this is like long ass pencil skirt fierce 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 and then this little bag I think this bag is probably, I think, my favorite bag, if I'm remembering her outfits correctly. I haven't really, like, looked up at these dolls in a while. Yeah. <gasps> ah, it's her little cheerleading uniform. This is so cute to me. All right, we're gonna get her back all dressed, and we'll give you some final opinions on just Spirit Queen. We'll do another thing for the other ones. So, we're back. Um, this after a couple hours. Opening these dolls was such a painful experience, and I have no idea why, because last year's collection, the remix, was so much fun to open. These ones were just kind of confusing with the whole, like, movie concept thing. 
um so i just kind of you know did it off camera here are oh, wait, real quick before we get into the undergarments of the oh ah, she just got attacked before we get into the undergarments of the other girls we have um this is scarlet's um dressing room little play set i think this is really cute for play or just like photos or whatever i decorated my rainbow high house with um cutouts from these posters this is mr rex little um play set whatever and then here are the girls in their undergarments this is how they you've seen um spooky whatever the spook i don't remember her name actually girls undergarments these are full-on outfits um you know they could be bathing suits they could just be like dressed up dressed down i think these are really fun that they included these i never really saw mr x under outfit before now Real quick, I'm just going to dress Scarlet and Miss Direct in their first outfits along like Spooky Babe that I did, and we'll review them then. So we're back after a long dressing process. Um, we got the girls in their main looks. Um, definitely some of these are interesting. I'm going to start off with the best one. This is Spooky Babes, um, or Spooky Queen, I don't really know the name. But I'll just do an interview of the base doll because I don't really give any sort of overview with the makeup and everything. So first, this outfit does have some really cute sparkly glasses. I did not know these glasses would be so sparkly and cute. Um, her hair is in this like little like bunny kind of thing. I don't really know what it's supposed to be. But there's a lot of pink, mauve red on the back and then um, more white on the front with some highlights. She also has these bangs, which honest, ooh, mine. I did cut mine a little bit because they were a little bit, um, they're like over here, there was more. But, um, they're sticking out of her head. I guess you could flatten them down if yours comes, like, weirdly. Um, she also has this really cool spooky makeup eyeshadow. Again, with these mauvey eyes, mauvey brown eyes. Which they didn't really do on an OMG yet, and I'm really intrigued about it. Um, she also has this really hot pink kind of lip. But also not too hot pink that it disrupts the look. She has, I hate this mold of earrings. And I don't want to be, like, negative about this at all, these reviews. Because a lot of these reviews of questionable pieces but the airpod thing i don't know why like i think it's cute for like the sporty ones but i feel like she should have had like darker earrings or some sort of like bat or something i don't know but i mean it's a fine use of the mold this little like chest piece thing is really cute i like that it's separate this is a separate piece and this reminds me of the lady gaga one which i do love i like that it's a heart i like that it's sparkly um under here is that shirt that we showed earlier castles again um, this is a really long pencil skirt, and then this is, like, the bottom of the dress, is that other skirt. I could not get it, it just does not want to stay on. I just don't under- I feel like the- um, I'm gonna take it off, because it looks so stupid. Um, the promotional pictures make it look good, but I just think the execution in doll form and, like, everyday form is not really great. But, again, these are the coolest shoes ever on an OMG. So monster high, so fierce. Before we get into Scarlet's man look, let's get into her, like, um, base doll. Um, these sunglasses, just a spoiler, suck. This hair, which no matter how much you tighten it, it, it continues to, like, go back up. It's- I've never had something like this on a doll. I guess it's a different- maybe it's a different grade of nylon. It doesn't feel, like, that bad. It feels oily. Um, a little bit messy. I think it needs a brush, but these colors are super vibrant. I think maybe a boil wash will help this to be, like, this. You know, where it's flatter to her head. But it's gonna continue to just- I don't, maybe just the grease in the oil. It looks good, and of course it looks good now, but, like, before when I was off-camera playing with it, trying to get it to, like, stick upright, it just was not working. Ah! So the base doll, besides the hair, has these really cute little tendril kind of things. Um, this makeup is some of the most, like, creative makeup, I feel like, in an OMG in a bit of a long time. I mean, as we just went from Spooky Babe, which she had a really cool makeup, but this one is really cool. I love the, like, the like, graphic liner and the cheekbones. This lip and nose is super fun. Also, this little like polka dots. Oh, she's so cool. She's so pop art. I just love how they went about this doll. Um, I'm really excited that they went a little bit more creative with her. Um, I just think it really brought her to life. But moving on to her first outfit, we have this little bow. Um, it's supposed to be, it's a reversible bow. It has the other one on the other side. We'll get to that in the next outfit, but... This bow is red for this outfit. Mine is chipping and has some weird discoloration, but I'm not going to, you know, get too offended by it because I didn't pay full price. I paid like 50%. Then I got another discount on that. I'll get into the discounts again later in the video. But these earrings are also really, really cool. Let me just show you. This one says OMG. And then this one says, is just like a little bubble. I don't know what it's to say. 
Um, real quick before we get um, to the glasses, mine has some really, it had a root rooting of hair right here. I plucked it out, but there's still a hole there. Um, just a little quality issue. These glasses, again, stink. I hate them. They, um, they're the same mold that the class Prez used, but either the plastic isn't thick enough or it's, like, not strong enough. It does not stay on her ears, like, right. I don't know how, I don't know why it doesn't do that. I don't know how to fix that. I wonder if I could fix it. Of course, okay, I don't know why it's gonna, you know what? Scarlet, I guess, hates me because off camera, again, these were literally struggling to stay on her ears. Uh, maybe you just to put it in the hair more. I don't know. Just play around with them. They're really annoying. I don't like them, though. I just I feel like the, if they were just like the, a different mold, I feel like we have many other sunglass molds that would be better for 3D, because I feel like you're thinking about it, 3D, you're not really going to be able to see it, I don't know. Um, the outfit. Um, much better in person. Oh, wait, she also has these cute little blue nails. The outfit. Mm, outfit is much, much, much better in person. But that's not saying much, because this outfit was really ugly online. This is a really high quality, like, sweater. Um, that's the only part I like about this outfit, to be each. Um, this is really high quality. It's thick. It's nice. This is, you know... It's not, like, my favorite OMG piece ever, but it could be worse, um, considering... Considering the leggings. We'll get to that in a minute. Really quick, I want to talk about this belt, because I've hated this belt mold forever. Um, downtown used it, and then, um... Lady Diva had a belt, which was kind of like it, where it was this, like, really thin plastic and didn't have, like, a loop to, like, stick it anywhere. But this one has my improvements. It's a thicker plastic, which I really appreciate that they listen to us, or I hope, I don't know. I'm just happy that it's thicker and it stays on better, because my downhill one literally never stays on her. And these, gla uh, these pants are a pain to get on. Um, I really, again, hate to be negative, but do not love these. I just don't think the overall... I think the overall design is cute for, like, maybe, like, a lazy day on your OMG world. Or, like, you know, I just don't think it's a great main outfit. But it is, you know, subject to enjoyment. And then she has these under these. Under, let me just take the shoes off real quick. I think I showed these socks, but they're little polka dot red socks. And then she has these really cute little, like, shoes. They kind of show you the, um, socks. But they're, like, glittery and they have little bows on them. Now we get into the fan favorite. Everyone loves Misdirect. Um, wow, this doll got so much hate and still does, and I understand why. I think the execution of her was a little bit weird. But before we get into that, let's just take these glasses off and the little headband. And we can do a base doll kind of look. So she has these shaved heads. This is a pink and yellow kind of side. With um, She has purple highlights in her hair. And then on this side... It's this black shaved head with a little cute little, like, silver design. She has some purple highlights, but, um, more, you know, silvery streaks. Um, the base doll is cute. I actually really like the base doll. Um, I think I'm gonna do some sort of funky hairstyle. I think it would really suit her. But her makeup is, um, I think her makeup's really cute as well. I kind of wish this was, like, a black smoky eye, and this was bright to kind of match. Mine has a little bit of a misplacement, but I don't really care that much. Um, this is really cool makeup, actually. I love that they did the little gold cut crease with the pink. I think it really pops. Her eyes are also a really, really, really pretty color. Um, but now let's moving on to the actual doll. She has this, um, little headband, which I think is cute. I think the headband is, works for her character. It's cute. These sunglasses, they're, you know, I think they're a good statement piece. But the way that they're executed is bizarre, um, to say the least. They are stuck onto another piece of glasses, which I didn't know was a thing. And taking them on and off is super hard. I don't even want to do it on camera because um, it's just a pain. Uh, it's just really like, don't I'm, I don't want to break the glasses. So after I take them off, they're never going to go back on. This cape. I want to talk about this cape because the cape really irked me. Um, in the instructions, it's like, ooh. in the instructions, it's like this, like, these are, like, each separate little pieces, so there's, like, three, there's two little pieces and one big piece to flip the cape around, and I just think it's really unnecessary. Um, I was struggling with it. I tried to undo it, and then it just wouldn't go back in, so I just said, you know what, whatever, I'm just gonna do the better side, and we'll just do that for the most looks, because, um, I don't know. It also looks really messy, kind of, I feel like. I don't know. I just don't think it's worth it to, like, lose the pieces and then have to go on the scavenger hunt of finding the two little pieces that are sizes of like literally nothing maybe atoms is the closest thing you can find to it but um you know the cape is i think well when it's only one side and have that factor of um reversibility or whatever the fuck 
Um, it's really cute. It's like metallic, and this is a nice like pleather material, black and white. It's stitched nicely. Great. This bodysuit. Oh my God! There is nothing in the world that I can say that I like about it besides the stitching detail and the different fabrics. Um, I'm happy that it's at least not screen printed, but um, for OMG, I'm just a little bit upset and disappointed because it's so boring in a way. Like, and I I don't want to be negative about these dolls because these dolls get so much hate. Um, but wow, I just cannot believe this was the first outfit for her. They didn't give her like a, like they have a choker for their second outfit, but no necklaces, no sort of like trim, not even long sleeves, whatever. Um, these little gold metallic plates are also really cute though. I think they are super interesting. I think they really bring her to life. This is my favorite thing though on this, um, outfit is this little BB because, you know, I love a BB. But I really like how it was constructed because Snowlicious had this like kind of same belt um concept. Not exactly. It had some different, you know, quirks and whatever. But um this one is constructed with much better plastic. It fits on her. There's adjustable like little band. So it doesn't have this and it wasn't it was placed in the packaging nicely where it wasn't like squished and you'd have to like boil it in water or like do any sort of weird like ways to like get it to fit her body. And I really appreciate that they kind of listened to the Snowlicious reviews and fixed it so it does fit better. She also has these really cool shoes. I will give props to these shoes. And I think the sand is also really pretty. I like these shoes. I love a little shoe like that. But um, first outfit for Miss Direct was not strong. I like her second outfit. We'll get into that in just a minute. Hopefully I like it on her. Um, with that, I don't know. Let's just hope the next outfit's better for two of the girls. <laughs> and we're back. We got the second outfits on. And I just want to say major, 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 major improvement from everyone. Um, except I feel like Spooky Queen, I kind of like... I initially loved her first outfit, or I, lo I initially loved her second outfit more than her first, but I don't know why. I feel like I like her first outfit a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more campy, but this outfit is still super cute. I love, love, love this little witch hat. This little microphone thing, I didn't really, like, talk about it. I don't think I talked about it before, but it, like, moves. Hello. She is a sound boom boom girl. Oh, so we got these little earrings. This shirt is reused, but it really looks good here. I love this skirt. I think this is really cool. This jacket is super interesting. I love the little, like, cobweb thing that they have. It's just, it has this, like, little, like, weird, like, fabric. I don't know if that, like, sound can give you any sort of, like, information, but it's very, like, slinky, I guess, in a way. I don't know. But this jacket is cute besides that weird little fabric. Um, it's, like, a varsity kind of jacket. There's nothing on the back, really. I mean, and we guess it's a little bit glitter, right? Cute, cute, cute. Um, we have these little pom- I'm not sure if these are pom-poms or what they are. Regardless, they are interesting. They definitely make her stand out on the shelf. Um, I also don't think I talked about her like little mold, her hand mold. This is a new mold, I'm pretty sure. Cool, in like your actual hands. I love that it's like silver, it's like a little Michael Jackson glove. It's cute, it's only one hand though, which I appreciate. And then she has her socks with her little shoes. Um, again, I think this is definitely an improvement from, I don't know if, I don't know if that one specifically is an improvement, but it definitely is two strong outfits in my opinion. And then we have Scarlet. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing outfit. Um, I kind of like the bow on the red side. I feel like it, the red gave it a little pop. This is a very white, 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 and white and black. Um, but I think the bow is still cute. No chipping. Um, the sunglasses are cute, except they hide her really fun makeup, so I'm probably not going to use these. But um, they are there, again, her outfit. This second outfit has so much detail. Maybe this is her first outfit. On her box, though, this is her second outfit. I'm not, I don't know, um, but this is such a high detail outfit, like, this, like, this is actual, like, you know, there's, like, it's actually sewed onto it, it's a little bow, this is some, like, little lace, this is real lace, it's not printed on, a little collar, <gasps> these are real buttons, they're not falling off, check notes, Mattel, these really, this, like, amazing skirt, the skirt is just blowing my mind how, like, it's two layers, and it has this little, like, corset thing built in, we have the little director bag. Again, it flipped, but I have it, you know, on her this time. And then we have the same shoes. I guess you could probably take the socks out. Um, I'm just going to change this because I think the red is really fun. She reminds me of Dorothy, in a way. Um, with little, like, red shoes kind of thing. Now we move on to Miss Direct. This is uh, the hat. Can we just, I can't take the hat seriously. I'm just going to take it off for a minute. But then the, the hair... It, it, it gags me in a way that I don't know if it's fun. Um, 
besides the hair, we also have these glasses, which these glasses are also really ugly. But, um, they're cute. I did something on her or right now. Maybe if I just, like, move her hair, put the glasses on, like, as a headband or something. I don't know. Just something. Um, I'm gonna do, again, a little hairstyle with her, because I think she deserves a little spotlight. But this hat, I cannot take her seriously with. It is nice, though. It's really hard plastic. It is heavily constructed. You could probably hurt someone with that hat. But, um... Yeah, it's a really nice piece. Again, this cape, which I I refuse to do that whole flippy thing, but it looks much better here. Um, you also add this little choker with this outfit. It's a separate piece, but I think the choker is is interesting. I don't know if I fully like it, but it is cute on her. This little outfit is so cool. It has so many little BBs in it. There's I know Honeylicious. I see Pop BB. Um, maybe I don't know. I can't tell exactly who this all is. This is all art. This is, like, a really detailed piece, and there's little buttons on it. You can just tell the artist had fun with this outfit. This skirt is also something that is so cool. It's completely getting covered up, but it's this mini skirt. Reminds me of Problem by Ariana Grande. Not fully, but, like, a little bit. It's so cute. I wish... I'm probably going to restyle her quite a bit, but I don't know. I kind of want to tuck this in. I wonder if it would work. Wait, I'm going to try that real quick. This is no fault to the designers of the production, but this is not really, like, fit tucked in. Um, I had a vision, it didn't really work out. Also, I don't like how it looks tucked because these little short sleeves. There's something off about it, but besides this little, little fail of a resale, she has these cute little thigh-high covers, which I love. Anything thigh-high, anything black and white is such a good, you know, look in my brain. Um, I guess you also do need to trim her hair a bit, but, um, I love, love, love this outfit. I think it is an improvement for Miss Direct. Hello. But, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna round them all up and give some final thoughts. So, calling all my BBs, we got them all rounded up. The main four characters of the movie Magic Line. Um, these are all retailing currently for 18, like 52 something. Um, I think on Target and Amazon, maybe Walmart as well. Um, but I think Target is the best place to buy these. Not not an affiliation with Target or anything, but they are having that like big sale right now for springtime. But I think if you're missing any of these BBs, I think you definitely should try to maybe think about picking one of them up, even if you don't love the design fully. I think a restyle, I hate saying that, but like a restyle might fix them. Um, LOL OMG and OMG, the whole universe is going to serve us so much more this year. I think we've seen so much improvement from this for the Queen's line, the, uh, the Fierce line that got leaked, the BFF line that continues to like, you know, slay. But, um... I think these are really cool if you are missing them or if you just want one, even one or two. I think Gamma Babe is one of my favorites and Spooky. I don't, I don't, I still don't remember her name. It's Spirit Queen. It's literally on the box on the floor right over there. Um, an unexpected fave was um, Scarlet. And I also really do enjoy um, Misdirect. I just think it's, you know, if you want to restyle them, if you want to like play around with them. I think they look better in person than they do online. That's what I ended with. I guess I stopped caring about recording i don't know why there's no ending outro um past me please what um but i just wanted to say that i recommend these girls despite a lot of the issues i recommend them more on sale than i do full price but definitely try to pick them up if you can if you want to i'm not going to tell you what to do but um thank you again so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one bye